when it comes to landscape lighting nothing is more important precisely because of these days it is all about the right vibes a little more lighting is an essential part of different gardens and parks let's discover the beauty of old with the magic wand of lighting early street lamps were used by greek and roman civilization in front of villas where light primarily served the purpose of security both to protect the street worker from tripping on the path over something or keeping the potential robber at bay at that time oil lamps were used predominantly a slave responsible for lighting the oil lamps was called lanterrier or lamp lighter to the town at evening lighting each of the lamps the use of street light was first recorded in the city of antico an ancient greek city from the 4th century bc public street lighting was first developed in the 15th century and accelerated following the invention of lantern with glass windows which greatly improved the quality of light still in the mid 16th it was a common practice for traveler to hire a lantern bearer if they had to move the light through the dark the first widespread system of street lighting used pipe coal gas as fuel in 1726 oil gas appeared in the field as a rival of coal gas in 1815 the first modern street lamp to use kerosene were introduced in live in 1853 the first electric street lighting employed arc lamp in 1875 this was a carbon arc lamp employing alternating current which ensured that both electrode were consumed at equal rate in 1876 on 30th may 1878 the first electric street light in paris were installed the first street to be lit by an incandescent lamp was mosley street on 3rd february 1879 it was on august 5th in 1905 an indian city get electricity the chosen city was not calcutta or bombay or madras but it is bangalore though calcutta was the first city to get electricity in fact bangalore was the first asian city to get electric street light by the late 20s electric light light of the street of calcutta the first street to be light was harrison road and jagadish chandra bos road outdoor lighting is defined as the fixed artificial lighting to illuminate the areas where there were no roofs that is outdoor areas the aim of the outdoor lighting is by illuminating the areas to maintain or to improve visual performance of the persons conducting human activities there are some distinct uses of outdoor lights are street lighting roadway lighting parks stadiums parking lots landscaping residential and commercial buildings pedestrian and bicycling pathway each require different type of light and placement using the wrong type of lights that can make the situation worse by compromising visibility or safety landscape lighting or garden lighting refers to the use of outdoor illumination of private gardens and public landscapes adding lights to outdoor space can improve overall home experience transform your yard corridor or deck with landscape lighting that can be decorative while improving the safety and security of your home's exteriors or commercial properties there is a great example of landscape lighting using bollard light bollard lights are affordable path lights that illuminate walkways of garden to make your evening heavenly landscape lighting are used for enhancement and purpose of safety nighttime aesthetics accessibility security recreation and sports and social and event uses roadway light serves as an important safety features for busy street and highways 
where visibility is essential. Roadway light can also signal the difference between a pedestrian and a car zone. The lighting can help drivers by aware of their surroundings and provide well illuminated safety for pedestrian. This is the best example where all the requirements of path lighting gets together with beauty. An example where beauty meets with functionality. Another example where lights makes our world beautiful. Step lighting helps us to navigate stairs safely during nights. Its fixture can be installed as recess light in the riser of steps and as a surface light on the vertical lighting posts. Beauty of your yard is showcased with landscape lighting even when it is hidden within the nature. You can highlight your garden, give way to your driveway and walk up. Underwater lighting highlights underwater plant material and captures light to show up depth or imaginative design. Illuminating water bodies not only increase their attractiveness but also ensure safety in dark. You can display a dramatic waterfall with any landscape lighting style. Consider which of these landscape lighting option will help focus attention on your most important details of outdoor space. Cascading fountains and falls reflect lights in their movement adding a visual perspective to the sound of rippling or spraying water. Uplighting is a popular lighting effect created by strategically placing lighting fixture on the floor and pointing them up. Uplighting is rarely seen in the nature yet this effect is typically used to highlight the trees, statues, etc. Uplighting is used to produce large shadows and dramatic facade or to wash walls with lights. The downlighting effect is used to provide general illumination for safety, security or outdoor entertainment or it can be used to focus on a singular object such as a statue or specimen tree. Lighting both natural and artificial plays a vital role in architectural design. The techniques of architectural lighting are used to emphasize the variation in texture as well as architectural features in brick and stonework, sofit details and facade. Architectural lighting can also be used to enhance the gateways and statues. Architectural lighting design is a field within architecture, interior design and electrical engineering that is concerned with the design of lighting system including natural light, electric light or both to serve human needs. This effect utilizes a narrow focused deep beam of light to highlight a specific landscape object creating nighttime point. Uplighting, downlighting or any combination can be used to create a spot lighting effect. Loading is created when the image of a plant, tree, statue or other landscape object is reflected against a wall or other vertical surface. Lights are placed behind the plant material or object and directed the light upward onto the backdrop to create this dramatic effect. This effect creates a visual similar to siloting. However, the fixture is positioned in the front of the plant or object rather than behind it. Since the shadow of the object is often magnified, the effect that can be more dramatic than saluting. It is utilized to highlight and enhance the structure of interesting surface such as cobblestone, masonry, stucco or timber. Hooded fixture with wide beam spread lamps are ideal for these techniques. Here are some examples of architectural lighting roles in city beautification. Pictures available for landscape lighting are boulder lamp, bush and spike lamps, pole or post stop lantern, wall light, walkover lamp, garden spike and mini flood, surface mounting or up down lighting luminaire, globe lights, recess light and indirect light. A wide range of boulder lights for different kinds of space from landscaping boulder light to parking area boulder light.
are available in market and the high end decorative but functional fancy wooden finish roller lights are also available apart from the aesthetically pleasing services the roller light also function as to ensure safety these days roller light also being used for parking areas as to avoid any crimes and accidents from ensuring road safety to landscaping lighting and what not bush and spikes are used in garden park ground signboard monument light and many more the best part about bush and spikes is that they can withstand harsh weather condition are quite affordable and have low maintenance since they are exclusively designed for outdoor spaces post up lantern is a weather proof indirect lighting solution for garden and park lighting the elegantly designed range of product from different manufacturer meets all the necessary safety standard because of their longer life and low energy cost the total cost of ownership is very low i am very sure everybody wants their house to look beautiful even at night and that's why wall mount lights are needed for outdoor application apart from beautifying the house these wall mount lights are also used for security purpose look at the attractive landscaping why it is so looking beautiful it is all about the lighting work of our reset luminaire used for architectural functional and decorative type lighting suitable for lighting facade under our string codes work away indoor and outdoor in both residential and public areas the technique of indirect lighting sometimes it is called up lighting uses one or more fixture to aim light onto the upper walls which acts as a reflector and distributed the light evenly throughout the areas indirect lighting is a form of ambient lighting indirect lighting minimizes shadows and reflected glare the pictures in next three slides are taken in different times of the day here we can see the application of light increases the reality of the places or an object this picture is most attractive by the application of warm lights light is an important aspect of interior and exterior design as it enhances the aesthetic appeal and create the mood and ambience of a space lighting fixture that illuminated space creates a safe and comfortable environment beside adding style to the interior and exterior decor lighting is the main element that gives the space a special look and transform it into a seamless combination of functionality and styles beside playing a functional role it creates a visual dynamic space lighting can make or break the ambience of the space hence proper lighting is an important element of decorating your interior and exterior space